Good afternoon once again from the sports desk. So on Sunday morning, South African time, Sivanati Nonjinga scored a flash knockdown in the second round on his way to grinding out a split decision victory over Hector Flores in Mexico to lift the vacant IVF junior flyway, flyway title. Now two, two judges scored it for the South African who finished strongly over the final three rounds by margins of 116, 111, 114 and 113, while the third had the Mexican winning 115, 112. Nonjinga is now the only South South African boxer to hold a credible and recognized world boxing title. The champ joins us now uh, to talk to us about that. As Mohammed Ali said, the champ is here. <laughs> the champ is here. Um, congratulations, champ. Um, thank you very much. Uh, it feels great to be here. I'm really honored. L let's talk about the fight. I mean, you're relatively inexperienced. Yes. Um, you actually have broken the record of uh, somebody, a boxer that becomes a world champ with fewer fights that had been there since 1950. Yes. Going into the fight, I mean, what is the fight plan? Because you're fighting in Mexico against a local that is more experienced than you, that is also unbeaten. Yes. Um, first of all, um, let's give credit to Hector Flores because he's good. Uh, the game plan was simple. We just got there. Uh, we, we knew that uh, we're going to fight behind the jab, but we, we knew that uh, he's, there's a point where he's going to break the distance, so we've got to stay in the pocket. Uh, as I was sparring with the likes of Moruti to, mm. to prepare that, uh, Simpua Kongo, DJ Grill, uh, and Heke Butler. So, yeah. And those are big names in, in yeah. world boxing in their own right. Yeah, yeah, because uh, the, the only reason why we, we decided to work with them is only because of we knew that now this is the big stage. So we have to make sure that we tighten every screw. Mm. Yes. So come fight night, you're fighting away. Yes. Uh, relatively, the only people that were supporting you are in your corner. <laughs> what, was, what, what was going through your mind as the fight started, going into round one? Um, first of all, when you're training uh, for a fight, when you're a boxer, you need to be disciplined. You need to teach yourself how to, how to, be, uh, um, how to, be, fit, to be mentally fit. You know, so I was mentally fit, I was fit mentally, spiritually, and physically. Mm. So I knew that uh, this was my time. So in order to be the best, you must go there. You must go there and conquer the world and get the victory. That's exactly what happened. So round two, yes. you take him and he goes to the, to the canvas. Yes. Did that give you that motivation to say, I, I can go and beat this guy? Um, yes, it did. But, uh, you know, boxing is unpredictable. Mm. You can't just see a, no, a knockdown, then you go all out because you never know what is going to happen next. So I had to remain cautious all the time. I had to be, I had to make sure that I'm extra careful. Um, yeah, it gave me motivation because I saw that okay, if you can go down, meaning that I, I can throw more bombs and mm -hmm. and get the victory by KO. So was that, was that the plan when you, uh, because you finished quite strong, if one looks at how you fought, the last three rounds, I would say, which are championship rounds in their own right, was where you sort of swayed and, and made sure that you win. Because, I mean, we know fighting away in Mexico, you literally have to convince the judges with everything that you have. At what point did you feel that the fight was swinging your way? Um, um, when I got uh, to round, um, uh, round number five, my corner told me that, um, it, we can win the fight if we can remain like def de uh, defensive, um, throwing more blows, uh, stay in the pocket, um, make sure that um, you're extra careful, you're vigilant all the time. We can get the victory. Uh, I think starting from up until Colin said to me uh, round number nine that I've got nine minutes to change my life. So and uh, so so so, I, I I just knew at that moment that. Uh, I can get the victory. I can do it. I can actually do it for my country, for my people, for my family, for everyone. But Chem, you don't even look like somebody who was in a fight for 12 <laughs> rounds. Yeah. Was there a point in the fight where you felt uh, against the ropes, literally, where you thought, okay, Flores might be having an advantage now? Or yeah. where you felt like he caught you? Yeah, 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 yeah. A couple of times. A couple of shots. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's got power. But um, the only thing I, I did was just to sleep each and every blow he throws. I was just sleeping, I was just sleeping, sleeping, sleeping and ducking all the time. I, I made sure that even in my preparation that I have to make sure that my defense is tight. Yeah. So I, I want to 
go back a little bit and look at some of your fights. Yes. I mean, you, uh, the last one you had bought walking uh, back home in Quebec, you fought in East London yes. uh, quite a number of times. Yes. What was the experience like going out and fighting against a hostile crowd mm -hmm. that basically wanted you to lose? Um, to be honest, yeah, I was, I was... This was I your was, first time outside, yes, fighting yes, outside yes, South yes, Africa, yes, right? Yes. Stage fight Actually, the first time out of... Out of the country. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, 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 the stage price was there, but the, the thing is I always work hard. I always push myself into the limit, into, into the limit. I always, um, I always believe in myself. I stay faithful, so, and I believe in like, each and every like, hard work I put in. So I just knew that um, if I get there and, 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 and I have to fight and leave everything on that ring, in order to, to, to walk away as a world champion. So, so, so now, um, you, you get this opportunity. It's a yes. vacant title. Yes. Um, you know, you're fighting against an unbeaten boxer. Mm. It, when, when you were told that you're going to go for this title, I mean, the yes. rankings, obviously, what, what, what was it that you, I mean, your conversation with Colin Nathan when he told you, hey, champ, here's an opportunity. Let's go for it. Um, we fought for elimination. Last year, yeah. I won the elimination. I was supposed to fight Felix Alvarado on the 18th this of was December. Against last year. Yes, yes. The, okay. the elimination. So yeah. I was supposed to, to face uh, Alvarado last year. Um, it didn't happen. When Colin came to me and said that uh, the, um, Felix Alvarado vacated the title, I was happy because I knew that uh, there was something telling me inside that this is your time, this is your shine, boy. Uh, and, 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 and nobody's going to stand in your way. You know, when it's time to when it's your time to eat you just have to give it all you have to push yeah how how much studying did you have to do of Hector Flores um I'm more like I'm fighting here at home mm. yeah so now world champ breaking records and you're still quite young 20 23 years old 23 years yes. old what's the next big thing for you uh, uh Sibet? um my dream is to be a unified champion I want to unify the division someday, and I've got the manager, I've got Colin, uh, hopefully that will happen, because he managed to pull some strings for me, and I got the, uh, I got the, the, the chance to fight for the world title. Mm. So for sure, I'm going to stay in the gym, I'm going to work hard, as if I'm, I'm, no, I'm not a champion. I'm going to stay humble, and, and I, I promise you that I'm going to be a unified champion. Yeah. Yeah. So, an, an, an opportunity maybe to fight back at home, are there... Uh, uh, you know, now that you're a world champ, anyone that you've targeted, that you looked at and say, that's where I'm going, or is the unification where you're looking now? Um, here at home. Yeah. I'm asking here at home. Yeah. Um, to be honest, and now I'm you've not... You've passed that stage. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 that's what I was trying to say. Um, I want to fight, like, the boxers from abroad, you know, um, the likes, the champions, the likes of Kenshiro, Hiroto Kiguchi, um, yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, and yeah, I just want to, to unify the division and get all the belts. So, so I, I know that you uh, flew back this morning. Yes. Uh, so you're go only going home now. Yes. Right. Well, let's let you go, champ. Congratulations and thank you very much. I'm sure the people back at home are hoping to see you, are waiting to see you uh, coming back with the belts. Uh, let me give credit again to News Africa for having me here. Uh, I feel honored and. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to come again and bring more titles. Thank well, you so much. We'll guys. be looking forward to that. Ladies and gentlemen, Sivenati Nonchinga, they call him the special one. And he went out there to Mexico and proved indeed that he is the special one. We have more sport news for you in the next hour.